she's in a lot of pain, and we did give our word. If this must be the way it is, then I guess we have to end her suffering. So be it. unpleasant, especially now that we've learned that perhaps the werewolves are not just mindless beasts, as the Dalish seem to think they are. Right. So she gave us a scarf, and now we're charged with taking it back to her husband. But in the meantime, we still need to find that acorn, wherever it is, so that we can find out where the werewolf lair is located. Okay. Our hero Vexus has just hit level 7, which means he may now choose a specialization. So, uh... I'll give you a quick rundown of the four choices we have, and this is one of the decisions that I'm going to leave up to you guys. So, <clears throat> here's your uh, options. We can specialize as a shapeshifter. It gives us a bonus to constitution and armor. And, uh, basically, we would learn this from uh, Morrigan and allows us to take the shapes of various animals, such as wolves, bears, uh, giant spiders, and basically allows us um, to enter melee combat, uh, as opposed to always hanging back and casting spells, and having access to abilities that usually only uh, NPC creatures have. The second object is known as the Spirit Healer. This uh, is a sp specialization that is uh, taught within the circle, and it is a bonus to magic, and uh, the hero will get health regeneration. So that even in the uh, midst of battle, um, uh, we heal hit points at a constant rate. And it basically, it will enhance our abilities to support and uh, provide healing to our comrades in battle. Uh, the third specialization is actually my personal favorite, and it's known as the Arcane Warrior. This is a specialization that was actually uh, used by the ancient elves in order to turn their spellcasters into formidable uh, melee attackers as well. Uh, it comes with a bonus to dexterity and attack, but what really uh, makes it interesting is that it uses the stat, uh, the magic stat, in place of strength. So if we choose this specialization, it'll give us access to use much heavier armor uh, than mages uh, usually can uh, wear. It also allows us to use uh, decent-sized melee weapons and basically become a frontline attacker that can also cast spells. The uh, disadvantage to this, of course, is that uh, we don't have any, because we're still a mage, we don't have any combat attack bonuses. Uh, so we, we can't specialize in either two-handed weapons or bow and arrow or anything like the warriors and the rogues can. However, um, it does make us a little bit more flexible in what we can do in the party. Uh, the other thing to no note is that we still suffer fatigue penalties from wearing really heavy armor, uh, which would affect our mana pool. So, um, if we did go with the specialization, we would probably wear either light or medium armor. And, uh, but, you know, like I said, it gives us a little bit more flexibility in the use of weapons. The final specialization is probably the most dubious one, uh, which is, of course, Blood Mage. This is the type of magic that our friend Jawan was practicing before he was expelled and nearly executed from the Circle. Uh, 
Basically, Blood Mage opens up the doors to demonic powers, uh, and you start to channel uh, life energy instead of mana in order to cast your spells. Um, this is kind of like straying close to the dark side of the force here, uh, but it does offer up some interesting uh, new spells that only Blood Mages have. Um, Part of which is inflicting enormous pain on your enemies and or taking control of them and using them as your own personal puppet. Um, and it comes with bonuses to constitution and spell power. And uh, mechanic-wise in the game it's useful because it allows you to, to instantly switch over from your mana pool if it gets drained too much and start actually tapping your life energy in order to cast spells. And as long as you stay in the back rank um, uh, and, and are not being directly attacked, uh, and you give yourself, start giving yourself a lot of constitution so that you have a lot of uh, health points. Um, this can actually uh, give you a very, very deep uh, total uh, pool to cast spells with. So, uh, just to review, the choices are Shapeshifter, Spirit Healer, Arcane Warrior, or Blood Mage. And, uh, Go ahead and comment in this video uh, with your votes, and um, uh, after uh, I give it a few days to a week or so, I'll count it up, and then uh, I'll choose the one with the most votes. So we'll leave that to you guys, and in the meantime, I'll just level up as normal. So we want magic, willpower... And uh, just in case we're not the Arcane Warrior, we should start putting a little bit of stuff into our strength so that we can actually wear some gloves and boots, because as you guys remember, I've been complaining about the fact that we can't even wear the most basic kind of gauntlets. Alright. We can get the Staff Focus. So we get a permanent bonus to basic attacks, which sounds like a good deal. We'll go with that. Alright. So let's keep moving. Whoa. Okay, that was random. A crazy-looking hermit has suddenly appeared in front of us. Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? Uh, a madman hiding in the forest. Who are you? Questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will you do the same for you? Ask a question, and you'll get a question, but give an answer, and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. You want me to answer a question? Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? But isn't that a question? Would you know a question if it was asked? I should hopefully, certainly hope so. No! That is not a question! And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? Uh, if Morgan is scared of this guy, uh, he's probably pretty powerful. So let's not make him mad. Um, okay then, would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Okay. Do you have the Grand Oaks acorn? <sighs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. You here, that talking tree there, it all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. 